All right, we got uh, some people cutting some lawn outside, but you know what? During uh, summertime, that's what we kind of get. So here we go, I have 3x plus 4 equals 5x minus 10. Um, I need to solve this equation. And when we start dealing with variables on both sides, we have to be aware that we could end up with no solutions at all, infinite many solutions, or exactly just one solution. But so it's just a good idea to understand that, and I've explained a lot of different times, you know, when we come up with those situations. But as far as understanding the operations to solve for our variable, and it's still going to be exactly the same. Then at the end, we'll determine, oh, is does it have one, none, or infinite many? So the a main important thing I need to do, to even regardless what my answer could be, is I just need to get the variable by itself. I need to get it so it says x equals this, or something close to that. So I have a variable on both sides. I need to get them on the same side. And here's just my little advice to you. I personally don't really care if the variable is on the left or the right side. I always like to get rid of the smaller variable. The reason being, I don't like dealing with negative numbers because a negative number is just an extra step that you have to do, and it just means more room for making mistakes. So I always like to get rid of the variable that's the smallest in value. So here I have 3x and I have 5x. I'm going to want to get rid of the 3x on the left side. So to get rid of it, or to eliminate from the left side, I'm going to have to undo it by subtracting 3x. And I just need to make sure I subtract a 3x on both sides to keep my equivalent equations. Therefore, I have 4 equals 5x minus 3x is 2x minus 10. And by doing that, you can now see what I did is I eliminated a variable. I combined my like terms, and or I combined these terms. And now I have a two-step equation, which again, I can solve. So what I'll do is I'll add 10 by using the addition property of equality to get 14 equals 2x. As that goes to 0, 14 equals 2x. Divide by 2, you could have 7 equals 2, 7 equals x. Or I can just rewrite it as x equals 7. So therefore, there is, is exactly one solution for this problem when I add a variable on both sides. Thanks.